الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أحبتي في الله We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for khair fi dunya wal akhira and we ask Allah tabarak wa ta'ala to raise us up amongst the ranks of the righteous and bless us to be of the uh, bless us to be with the siddiqeen wa shuhada wa salihin wa al-anbiya fil akhira and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for his fadl and his ni'am in this dunya, in this life, in this worldly life. Because we're dependent on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for everything. We need him and his favors. We seek refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the evil of our own souls. And we say, as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions in the Qur'an, in a very blessed, beneficial supplication, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana wa qina adha bin nab. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana so we say, O oh our Lord, imploring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we had the tawheed. O oh our Lord, give us good in this life and give us good in the next life and save us from the hellfire. Ahabatifillah, in this supplication, this supplication is concise, it's easy to memorize, and it's comprehensive in its meaning. Because in this supplication, you're asking, imploring your Lord, first and foremost. This is Tawheed al Ibadah. This is Dua, supplication. The Prophet Sallallahu said, Dua hu ibadah. Supplication is worship. Supplication is worship. That means our supplication is, is to who? Who alone? Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. Allah Tabarak Wa Ta'ala. Allah Azza Wa Jal. The Exalted. The Almighty. The only one worthy of worship. Tabarak Wa Ta'ala. And don't let anyone deceive you and say you need to pray to your sheikh, your imam, to the awliya, to him or her, to the inhabitants of the grave. None of that. Stick with the one who created you and he created you to worship him and him alone. So we begin that supplication. Rabbana, O our Lord. Rabbana, atina fi dunya hasana. Give us good in this life. Good in this life, al Allah. That can be the provisions that you need and even that you want. That's good, halal. Because you're asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for good. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. What, what are you asking for this in this dunya? Hasana. That which is good. That which is righteous. That which will bring you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So good in this life is those material things that you need and perhaps that you want that are good. And likewise, those things that will help you to come closer to Allah and will help you for the hereafter. But they, they're attained in this life. For example, al-mashir. 
uh, ilm al-nafi, beneficial knowledge, knowledge of the sharia. That will help you in this life in order to practice your Islam properly. And it will help you for the hereafter. So it's going to give you the good in this life as well as the hereafter. Although that is something you do in this life. And as the Salaf used to say, that deeds are the fruits of knowledge. So if you gain good knowledge and you're practicing it in accordance with that knowledge, knowledge on the, of the book in the Sunnah, women has the Salaf as Salih, then you've gained good in this life. And your deeds, be idnillah ta'ala, if they have muafaka, if they're in accordance with that, will be good. That's that Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. Oh, our Lord, give us good in this life. So that good in this life, part of that good of this life, and the best good of that life, this life, is that what's going to help you worship Allah better. So, even some of that hasana in this life can be your, aside from just your al-manafiya, but, and the rizq and tayyibah, you know, great and excellent worldly provisions, wealth, to help you worship Allah better and more and easier and to spend in His cause. All of that is in this, this life as well. Because the accepted deeds are done in this life. It's not going to be done in the Akhirah. These are things you do to prepare yourself for the Akhirah. And will carry on with you after your death if they are certain deeds that the Prophet ﷺ mentioned and we'll talk about in another sitting. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana. After hasana. The hereafter, habit filah, as the Salaf used to say, a dunya, a dunya dar, dar al amal wal akhira dar al jaza. This life is the time for doing works. Indeed, and the hereafter is the time to reap those rewards and fruits. So, when we say "Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana," in the hereafter, hasana, good, then that will be the good, the time when we reap those rewards, and that's in the akhirah. So you're asking Allah Subhanahu wa Taala in this life to give you good in this life as well as the next. To accept your good deeds and apply them and give you jaza in the next. And then that, uh, that supplication then specify something because in fact the good in the hereafter would also be the protection of the nar. But here it shows us the importance of seeking refuge in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from punishment in the grave from, from the nar. From protection in the fire because protection in the fire is a specific type of good in the hereafter isn't it